No. 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 Let's do deductions. Sherlock Holmes does not deduce things. He does not make deductions. At least that's not what he's famous for. What he does is an entirely different form of reasoning. The classic example of a deduction goes like this. All men are mortal. Socrates is a man. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. In the beginning, we have some premises, and we have a conclusion that follows logically from those premises. With a deduction, if the premises are true, then the conclusion must be true. Does this sound like what Sherlock Holmes is doing? You have got the way you hold yourself, says military. But your conversation as you entered the room was a bit different from my day. So trained at bar, so army doctor, obvious. Not quite. A lot of people think about deductions as moving from the general to the particular. So we have this general statement, all men are mortal, and then we have a more particular conclusion, Socrates is a man. So we've moved from a kind of general statement to a particular statement. But that's not really the key feature of deductions. Let's take another deduction to figure out why. Alex is either at the bar or the pool. Alex isn't at the pool. Therefore, Alex is at the bar. So now we've moved from a pretty particular statement to another very particular statement. There's nothing about deductions that guarantees that you're moving from the general to the particular. The key characteristic of deductions is that the conclusion does not add any new information beyond what's already known in the premises. 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 Premises? Premises? You can see this most obviously with the pool and the bar example because uh, the second premise just eliminates one of the possibilities that the first premise gives you. It's also true in the, in the Socrates man and mortal example. The two premises tell you everything you need to know. The two premises tell you everything you need to know. The conclusion is just making what's already there a little more obvious. But there is a reasoning strategy that does add information to the premises. That's called induction. The classic example of induction is about swans. So suppose that you see a bunch of white swans everywhere you go. You're a swan hunter and you're from Europe, and so you've never seen anything but white swans. Well then, you might conclude pretty reasonably that all swans in the whole world are white. That is an induction. People think of induction sometimes as moving from the particular to the general. So we've made all of these individual observations about swans, right? There's a, a white swan there, a white swan there, a white swan. And the conclusion that we end up with is a very general statement about all swans everywhere. But it doesn't have to be like that. Here's another example. Alex saw a swan near the hotel, but she didn't say what color it was. Now the last swan that someone saw at the hotel was white. So I'm just going to assume that the swan that Alex saw was also white. So the key difference between deduction and induction is that induction is adding to what we already know. We already know that Alex saw a swan, and we already know that there was a white swan spotted near the hotel recently. So now we're taking a reasonable next step. The conclusion in a deduction must be true if the premises are true. The conclusion in an induction, might, it might have a very high likelihood of being true, but uh, it also might be wrong. If we wanted to know whether all swans were white, we would have to be sure to see every single swan all around the world, right? And maybe even every swan throughout history. But who's got time for that? Do these examples seem like what Sherlock Holmes is doing? And there's your brother. Hmm? Your phone is expensive. Email enabled MP3 player. Are you looking for a flat share? You wouldn't waste money on this. It's a gift then. Scratch is not one. Many over time. It's been in the same pocket as keys and coins. Man sitting next to me wouldn't treat as one luxury item like this. So it's had a previous owner. I think we're getting closer, but we're not quite there. There is a special kind of induction where the conclusion is an explanation. All swans are white is not an explanation. Right? It's just making a statement about the characteristics of all swans everywhere. Alex saw a white swan is also not an explanation. It is just a statement about the kind of swan that Alex saw. Let's look at another very simple example. You walk outside and it's wet everywhere. And you make a reasonable conclusion that it must have just rained. 
this kind of conclusion is an explanation because it's explaining why there is rain everywhere on the ground. That kind of induction is called an abduction. And finally, we have gotten to what Sherlock Holmes is actually doing. But the jumper he's wearing, hardly worn, clearly he's uncomfortable in it. Maybe it's because of the material, more likely the hideous pattern suggests it's a present, probably Christmas. So he wants into his mother's good books. Why? Almost certainly money. He's treating her to a meal, but his own portion is small. That means he wants to impress her, but he's trying to economize on his own food. How do you know she's his mother? Who else would give him a Christmas present like that? Well, it could be an aunt or an older sister, but mother's more likely. The problem with calling what Sherlock Holmes does a deduction is it makes it seem like the conclusions that he reaches are infallible. In fact, that's how he's portrayed in the shows and the books. He's just always right, or like 99.9% .9 of the time he is right, and his outrageous conclusions always happen to be true. But his conclusions are not facts. They are provisional explanations. And when he calls them deductions... Let's do deductions. He's actually creating a misconception about what he's actually doing. And that's what Sherlock Holmes got wrong. But yeah, he, was, he was right about a lot of other things, though, too, I'm, I'm sure.